Good evening. I'm Haley Harrison. Truman Medical Center is the first health system requiring all employees to get the vaccine here in the Metro. KMBC 9's Brian Johnson reports on the reasons some workers didn't comply and where they'll go now. Of the more than 5,000 staff at Truman Medical Center's University Health, all but 39 employees met the vaccine requirement. Truman says it's really proud so many complied. We thought this was important, uh, not only to send the right message as an academic medical center that we believe in the science, uh, but also to assure our patients that they'd be safe when they came to Truman Medical Center. For the 39 who resigned, some are retiring, others switching jobs. The health system did not do exit interviews on the topic. We understood it's it's very personal and we respect that decision, but we also respect the decision to keep our patients safe. 70% of Truman's staff received the vaccine before the requirement. It says a relatively small number of workers filed for exemptions. The vaccine will keep staffing higher and protect patients. Uh, in many cases, because of an accident, because of an illness, you have to be here. So if you have to be here, we want to make sure you feel safe. Truman feels strongly about the safety and efficacy of the vaccine and its role in being a community leader. Our public partners think that ultimately the vaccination is the key uh, to how we move out of the pandemic. And I think they are appreciative that we took a leadership role in this, and I think you saw some of them follow as well. In Kansas City, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. Well, TMC is not telling us how many of its employees filed for those vaccine exemptions. Hospital leaders announced this requirement back in July. Employees had to comply by last week. Children's Mercy is also requiring all of its staff to be fully vaccinated by December 15th. The University of Kansas Health System's deadline is December 1st. We continue to track local vaccination rates for those who are eligible for the shot right now. More than 63% of people in Johnson County, Kansas are fully vaccinated. Wyandotte County is above 46%, Miami County above 41%. Now in Missouri, the part of Platte County outside Kansas City, Missouri reports more than 47% fully vaccinated with other counties close behind. Pfizer has now submitted vaccination data for five to 11 year olds to the FDA, and that means emergency use authorization could be just weeks away. Pfizer says clinical trials reveal a lower dose of its vaccine is safe and effective for younger children. Children are not as likely to get severely ill from COVID, but doctors say the more people who get vaccinated, the better. We certainly know that they can be carriers. They could transmit COVID-19. And to the adults that are around them and classmates and the adults around those classmates, there's there's just still a lot of risk to the community. But a new Gallup poll shows as many as 45% of parents don't plan to get their children vaccinated, even with FDA approval. The parents were just surveyed before Pfizer announced its vaccine is safe for kids. A new COVID-19 outbreak in Wyandotte County tonight. The health department is now asking hundreds of students at Piper High School to get tested. KNBC 9's Jackson Kurtz reports on the rising cases. It's so weird to have people you know catch COVID. Ten days after Piper High School's homecoming dance, health officials announced a cluster of COVID cases stemming from the event. I heard around from different people at school talking about it. The Unified Government Health Department of Wyandotte County says eight people have tested positive. COVID has been around for about two years. It's just not surprising because it's going to spread. Many Piper students rushing to make sure they weren't contagious with the virus. Everybody came. Back that next week, um, everybody was sick. A lot of people went home because they didn't feel good, and they went home, tested. A lot of them came back negative. Some of them came back positive, but a lot of, a lot of people were freaking out, yeah. The health department says testing should be done for students before returning to school. I kind of just, like, keep my distance from people. Sometimes I double mask. Just wear my mask. There's really nothing else to it. In Kansas City, Kansas, Jackson Kurtz, KNBC 9 News. We reached out to the Piper School District for comment. We've not yet heard back. A Missouri judge is rejecting the attorney general's effort to block school mask mandates statewide. AG Eric Schmidt took his argument to court trying to stop every school district that requires masks. He sued the Columbia School District last month, calling its mask order arbitrary. Now, the school district successfully argued each measure was put in place under separate local circumstances, so Schmidt would have to sue each district individually. The center school district is now extending its mask mandate for 30 days. The school board approved this measure last night. Masks are required for all students and staff inside school buildings. According to the district's COVID-19 dashboard, there have been 
136 cases since August 1st. KNBC is your home for pandemic updates. We are helping you keep track of vaccine clinics, mask requirements, and more. You can find it all on KNBC.com and the KNBC 9 News app. That is free wherever you get your app.